Hello everybody, welcome short term rental family. I hope you everybody's having a wonderful day today. We've got a cloudy day today. It's a little bit more cloudy. It's a little bit more chilly. I think we're doing somewhere like 68 degrees. Honestly, we have had such an incredible weather in the last few days. Uh, one of the things that you can notice right off the bat, you know, busier road. That's a nice little Jeep. Um, busier road, this is Seminole, so it's still a cool area. There's a very interesting house going on right here. I just missed a phone call, but anyways, let me go ahead and just do the full video here. Uh, this is what the neighbors look like. Boom. Sorry, just extending the camera here. This is what the property looks like. Um, very little. So, you know, grass needs to be taken care of. We got sprinklers, very little cracking going on in this driveway. It almost looks like they also rebuilt the driveway. By the way, folks, we're looking at a $500,000 home in Seminole and Incorporated, 12050. If you have questions, please let me know. I'll go ahead and give you all the details, but they're one half a million dollars, like $520,000 for this house. Seems like they installed new mulch here, so they're doing something here. Uh, we've got single pan windows throughout the house, repainted, and yeah, the house is super shiny. Look at this. It's like I could just, just end the video here. All right, let's go. No, I'm just kidding, but it looks really nice. We have the fixtures in the roof. We have nice fixtures throughout the ceiling. We have a really nice floors. Everything's been fresh remodeled. It smells, smells brand new. Um, and forgive me, these are double pans. I just think that one of them is, okay, they're all double pan windows. So that's pretty cool. Uh, brand new floors, again, folks, beautifully remodeled house. We do have a fiberglass pool, which is something that we don't necessarily like as much. Uh, we've got a master bedroom and laundry room area no laundry room is going to be in the garage there's a garage over there i think i saw it and then we have the kitchen that's also being fully upgraded let me just make sure that i get everything on we got new ceiling fans so new appliances as well so you can see the appliances are also brand new let me just start here with the kitchen since it's already in camera we got beautiful granite countertops with an overhang bay we have an incredible uh Fridge, this is pretty cool, with a see-through Pepsi Cola. Don't mind me if I do. Made with real sugar. Ooh, get some sugar in my system. All right, we're gonna have to buy this house now. Otherwise, <laughs> I'm gonna have to reimburse them for the Coke, for the soda pop. That's what you call it, for the pop. But anyways, very nice fixtures. You see the light fixtures, how, how nice, how neat they've been set up. Very nice cabinets, brand new, looking really nice, pristine. Nice appliances, look how shiny this is. So this is a fully, fully upgraded house. Beautiful home, $520,000. Single car garage, updated panel. So the good thing with a house like this is that your insurance, your insurance is gonna be a lot cheaper because you don't have anything that's old. Uh, figure, an AC unit. Well, that's the only thing that looks a little bit old, as you can see there, but in the shed. We got a wooden fence on this side. Then we go back to the vinyl. Look at the light fixtures that they install in the house. They're pretty cool. Garage door, you know. Normally I don't do this, but because it looks brand new, then I'm gonna do it. In some houses, you see that is low at the end. Some houses, I've done that and then it gets stuck. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what do I do now? I have to call the agent, hey, your garage door doesn't want to close. And it's a huge mess. But because it's a brand new house, I took the risk. Uh, again, so as soon as we come in, we got the kitchens, we got uh, laundry area. I, I mean, this house will be perfect for somebody to live, live at. I would love to live in a house like this too. Come in, park your garage, immediately get hit with the kitchen area. Looking super upgraded, super nice, very nice. You come through here, you got the guest room areas, that's where we're going right now. So we have a little storage right here, AC controls, first, uh, first guest bathroom right here, plenty of space. You could have a king or two queens. So two queens in here, that's already two beds. Uh, maybe two bunk beds on this one, just so you have that variety. So. That right there will be four beds on this one, six, uh, two beds on the, on the other side. That's already six beds, right? We got six beds at this point. 
double pan windows again upgraded so it keeps the AC on, keeps the AC going really nice. Uh, we have visibility to the pool areas, but it's not, you know, with the kitchen next to it. Now bathrooms, and this is something I want to throw out there. Folks, when you're doing an Airbnb, just get a smart mirror. I've told everybody, some people I tell, hey, just get a smart mirror. People don't do it. It's an incredible good way to make your Airbnb look nice. I already have nice mirrors at my place, so I, I'm not going to do it either. <laughs> but eventually soon, I might want to actually upgrade to those. Very nice bathroom, nice vanities, nice amenities, nice toilet. Sink looks great, matching the kitchen. The whole house, it's a matchy matchy house. You don't have any multiple floors or anything like that. So that looks really, really nice. And just for the sake, I'm gonna actually take the time on the video and turn the lights off. Look at this. I think this is to dehumidify the mirror. I do not know what this does. This obviously turns the thing off. Oops. It'll cost you 150 bucks, I think. I won't forget my soda. And then we had this beautiful kitchen area. So I'm turning off the lights and it kind of gives you an idea of what the property looks like with the lights off. You know, that's never a bad thing to look at. See what a property will look like when you have all the lights off. You know, is it very dark? And remember, it's not a sunny day. So we got this hallway with a closet at the end and here's your master. Master bedroom has a large window. It feels like this used to be a living room at some point. For some reason, I'm getting living room vibes, especially because of this window. You know, who, who will make a window that starts right at the wall, ends in the middle of the room, and it's this big? This looks like it used to be a living room in the back. In the, in the, I don't know, maybe it wasn't. But you get this large area, definitely a king. So we have six beds on that side, two bunk beds, two queens and a king that's seven beds. Seven beds leaves 14 people, maximum is 12. So you could also play it off like that and just say maximum of 12. Bathroom, double sink, double mirrors, beautiful floors. Again, continuation of that same tile, walk-in shower. What do you all think? So far, I like the house. So far, I think it's a nice house. It's beautiful. It's, you know, it w would be great if it was a four bedroom, but a house like this is fully turnkey, like absolutely 100% turnkey. So then you have the exterior, right? It's pretty cool. Come back to the house. This is where I starts to get a little bit, uh, now, you know, now it's, now it's you know, I'm not entirely happy with what I have out here. We do have a pool that's a fiberglass pool. Um, what looks cool about this pool is that it's pretty clean, it's pretty neat. You have seating areas right here, you have some seating areas right here, and you have steps. Um, there's no trees that are going to be shedding any dust into your pool, so you don't have to clean it all the time. Uh, I already showed you what that side looked like from the garage, so plenty of space to you for you to have your grill potting green, uh, bowling alley, um, fireplace, etc. The one thing that I'm not liking is the fence. A fence like this, I mean, it could be this high. It's usually nine foot. If you see that fence in the back, let me just kind of zoom in here. You see that fence right here? That's the, the, the height that we would like it to be. So this is a fence that, although it works, it's not, you know, like, look, I'm, hey neighbor. <laughs> so the idea is that you don't have that because your neighbors are obviously, here's the neighbor's uh, living room area, so you can see their windows. So they're probably staring at me like, what is this guy pointing at our house? And that's a lot of vegetation. But yeah, you can see the, the ceiling, the, the sky today, it's pretty gloomy. But uh, yeah, so this is our pool area, going back to the, the main core of our business here. Um, there's room for lounge chairs, there's room for, for, you know, for improvement. Yeah, I think you could make the bowling alley here. Maybe this could be the cornhole game area, but the same thing happens with the fence. So <laughs> we were thinking that we were not, oh, dead bird guys, found a dead bird. We were thinking that we were not gonna need to have a, a, a fence, but we do. And we got pool, pool equipment right here. There's no gutters, no gutters. 
There's no separation between these two houses, or at least no gutters where I'm looking. I am not seeing any cracks in the house. You see like this, this is what I'm looking for. See, they're, they're trying to cover cracks up. Now, Florida cracking is pretty common. Uh, sometimes it happens due to the heat, not necessarily because there's sediment. And I believe that they painted this outside because now I'm looking, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a crack right here. So I'm gonna look for more cracks. Usually when I'm looking at these houses, folks, as you can see, we've already purchased so many of these. I'm seeing this outline of the pool. I'm not sure if you can see the same outline like right here you see the outline not sure what that was in the in the previous maybe this was a, a an in-ground pool and they just added the exterior the, the the shell of a fiberglass i'm not sure the pattern i'm not crazy about honestly this is something that you could roll like this but i'm not really crazy about this this yellow lines i'm not sure what the whole intention was behind it and there's discoloration in between the colors. So like this is gray, dark gray, light gray. I'm not sure what that's all about. Um, it's looking good. The angle looks good. It's not any settlement. I think that this does it. And then obviously we have the transformer up there. So we have some power lines that's actually right inside your property. Power line right on your property. But okay, that's that. I hope you like this tour. Luis Bedoya, Charles Schultz of Realty real estate agent and investor all right some people tell me lewis we don't really know what what space you occupy in the industry what you are i'm a real estate agent right and my services are free to you you don't have to write me a check after you buy your home i've never charged you any money what i do is i bring all all my expertise to you and all of my um my advice to you i am somebody who likes to follow up on all my clients even after sale i like to make sure that your investment is good I don't like to just sell a house and disappear. That's not how that works. I like to sell a house and stay close, be your friend, become your partner and advise you and tell you and call you every so often and say, hey, how are you doing? Are you getting good reservations? Did you realize that you have to invest in this new amenity? Or, you know, I'll come in and tell you my experience with other houses. One of the craziest things that we found out, right? Location, 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 that's right. But we have an Airbnb in Panola Spark, 25 minutes away from the beach, making better money than some of the ones that are somewhat close to this house. We have another, air, we have, we have a few Seminole Airbnbs already, guys. So this wouldn't be the first one that we set up on Seminole Unincorporated, and they do good. But what I'm trying to explain to you is that we have units doing even better that are not supposed to be because of their distance. Forgive me here, real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna have to figure out the locking of this house, but units that are doing even better than this one and they're further out and it's all because of the amenities, because of everything like they come with. So if you have any questions, make sure that you reach out, like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Thank you for being part of our short-term rental family and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.